Mr. St. Andrew High School for Girls celebrates 90th anniversary this year. And in today's school zone, we give you highlights. Hey, Andrew, yes! Then later. We are winners of excellence. Therefore, we will be great leaders. The Shortwood practicing infant, primary, and junior high school selects its student leaders through a general election. Let's get the show started. Living more abundantly, we'll strive for victory. Living more abundantly, we'll strive for victory. The St. Andrew High School for Girls has a fine history and legacy of producing women of class and talent. It has been doing so for 90 years. To celebrate that milestone, the institution hosted its open day exercise recently. Our open day showcase or progress in terms of education. We're dealing with a different generation and this generation they, they like to touch, they like to see and they like to ask why. So when you put them on a device and you can show them how they can access that information then you find that your classes move more quickly and the students are much more attentive and they learn better. Case in point. We have this math wheel that we can print out so you can do your multiplication on it. So you can spin the numbers to say 9 times 2 is 18, things like that, right? So I mean, it can be applied to any field. So as long as you have an idea, you can put it down physically, you can print it out for you. What you would do is you select a category, whether it's for 100, 200. So you select a category, the question comes up. What is communication? person has to make a guess, of course. After that, click on the slide again, answer comes up. Then it goes back to the beginning. So that's how we play our Jeopardy. It's a very interactive game and it helps them with recall of information. Aside from the various demonstrations, students were also able to showcase their work in a number of areas, including home economics. Right here, we have the some of the pieces from the food and nutrition department where the students made stuff like barbecued liver, fried dumpling, just things to showcase the things on our syllabus. We need to know how to store. We're not gonna always have our parents with us, stuff like that when we go, oh, we need these skills. Simple things like knowing how to cook, knowing how to store, just learning how to help ourselves. So these skills are very important. Poetry. We were so mates at first. He was kind at first, but kindness lasts only for a time. The bruises were dark, the scars for life. Art in its various forms. We thought it'd be a good idea to have living arts bring art to life in a way. How did you use the bag juice bags to make this? Right here, this is bag juice bags right here. These are about, how many? Oh yes, yeah, seven in total. So there are bag juice bags here and also some at the side. So it also adds texture, it adds interest to the piece and it's eco-friendly. Right? Can I touch it? So, yes, you can. You can touch it. So, you can. Okay. That right. is. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So, that's how we use the bag juice bags and the pieces. Um, so, the entire exhibition is about raising awareness on plastic pollution. The girls certainly did a great job as they showcased the various ways they have turned trash to treasure. The dress that I created it was entitled Recycling in Jamaica. It was basically a combination of newspaper and scandal bag. We realized that the place is being more polluted and that's causing like dangerous animals and it decreases biodiversity in the environment, which is very important. Good job, guys. Um, I mean, girls. And it wouldn't be a full day without some fun and entertainment. Tom Cruise, I really think I'm Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Well guys, I hope you've gained some knowledge so far. What I especially liked in addition to my two mannequins was the art display from Lauren Silvera featuring recycled material. Up next in the Zone News. Hello and welcome to In the Zone News. I'm Dominique Boudou. The students of Shortwood Practicing now have a first-hand experience of how to vote after they all took part in the school first general election. Take a look. Well, Lorena, um, before you place your ballot papers in the senior or junior reading box, we should have the writing index in the whole right Lorena, I'll be falling back. 
the ballot papers. This is for the senior um, candidate. So you place it in the senior ballot box. And this is for the, the senior candidate. No? No, sorry, it will be for the And this is for the junior candidate. Thank you for voting. So that is the general process and we are following the electoral process to the T in terms of the voting and the casting of the vote and the instruments that are used by EOJ. Based on the students' feedback, it was a free and fair election. Congrats to the student leaders. I made my choice because the candidates displayed the qualities of a great leader. It can help you when you're growing up and you're going to vote for who you want to vote for. How were you convinced to vote for who you did? Because they, they promised us things that they would give us and they wouldn't break that promise. Let's hope they don't. Well, that's a wrap on today's show. See you next time on School Zone.